There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Hey everybody, back on the trail. Just out for a quick overnighter. Testing out a lot of new gear that I bought over the winter. I am just south of Red Wing, Minnesota, in the Richard Door State Forest Hay Creek Unit. Never been here before, so uh, <clears throat> need to find a good place to camp. We'll see what we find. I've been hiking for about two and a half hours, hiking around, a lot of uh, logging trails. I think they were clearing some wood. Went off on some game trails just to make things a little bit more exciting. Then I decided I'd bushwhack in the direction I thought I was supposed to go. Not 100% sure if I'm going the right way still, but came to this uh, nice lookout. Trying to get my bearings a little bit. I think I'm going to try to make my way back to a stand of pine trees that I saw as I was originally walking in. A little bit better cover. This early in the spring there aren't a whole lot of leaves on the trees yet, so if I get up in those pine trees I'll have a little bit more cover. So hopefully my next report is from there. Well, I made it and got all set up. It's about quarter to eight. Been here for a while. Beautiful night out. I can see a beautiful sunset over there. Maybe I'll go get some footage of that in a minute here. But uh, just wanted to show you my setup quick. You can see I got a nice little campfire going. So this area that I'm in, looks like it was logged a couple years ago. There's a lot of trees down here but still lots of nice pine trees up here couldn't find any rocks to build a campfire ring so I'm just being real careful put two real water soaked logs next to it to contain it but there's a lot of stuff that can burn around here it's it's pretty wet out here though so I think I'm I went to start a fire if, if I thought it was going to be dangerous but anyway here's my setup See, I have the Superfly from War Bonnet. It's the uh, Sil Poly, real light, a lot lighter than my Sil Nylon um, Housefly that I had last year. So, let's see here. Where should I start? Um, made my own snake skins. I'll post a link to how I did that. Uh, Real simple, they seem to work real well. I made one little modification where I put a uh, some shock cord on one end that serves as a cuff to hold the big end from, so it keeps the uh, fly from coming out. You can see my Dutch uh, flies there. I have those on both ends. I'm terrible at tying knots. I hate tying knots. So this way I don't have to do it. You can also see here on my doors, I have the little door clips on both sides. Keeps it from having to have a couple extra stakes uh, that I have to carry. I also have the Dutch tarp worms. So no knot tying. All right, so inside here, I have my one end open. The other end I'm gonna keep closed because uh, there's a little bit of a breeze from that side, but um, this is the first time that I've actually done the porch mode 
where you keep one side up. But I thought it'd be kind of nice where I can maybe look at the fire from my hammock tonight. So uh, in here my hammock is the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC. As you can see, um, with the bug fly attached on the top, zipped on. Uh, that's a must here in Minnesota. Mosquitoes all the time. Have the uh, tie outs down out here, pulling, pulling it out. I kind of like that. I slept in it one time in my garage. Um, had a little bit of problem with calf ridge, but I think I got it worked out. So this is why I'm testing it out here on this short one night, 45 minutes away from home. So uh, underneath, I have the um, War Bonnet Wookie full length under quilt, 20 degree. Uh, supposed to get down to 30 degrees tonight, so we'll test out and see if we can stay warm. Inside here, I have the Burrow from Hammock Gear 20 degree top quilt. Uh, you can see I got a little inflatable pillow inside here and my clothes bag. I made my own. I had some uh, no see -um left over from my snake skins and I made a little container, a little pocket here to hang my phone on. You can see I bought this little light, kind of a little night light in here. So what else am I missing? Let's see, I have my little tarp down there, a little Tyvek for a foot cloth. Um, ooh. Bought my new titanium pot here, real small one. That's all I need. Gonna make some corn, c -c -c corn. I'm gonna have some pork chops tonight. First time I've ever had meat out here. But being a one-nighter, I can get away with it, so. chops yummy almost done and over here on my fancy feast stove and windscreen my new titanium pot got some corn warming up whoop fogged you up some corn got a big hunk of butter and salt and pepper that's gonna go in there yummy I wanted to show you guys something kind of cool here it's reflective tile lines from uh, Dutch I can't remember if this is called Zingit or Reflectix or I can't remember which one I bought but it's reflective so you're walking around and you got your headlamp on, you're gonna, you can see these lines a lot easier and hopefully you won't trip on them. All right, all tucked in for the night. Testing out the 20 degree top quilt, the 20 degree under quilt. Feels pretty good so far. Got my clothing bag up here for my pillow. Got a little inflatable pillow that I keep under my knees. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Good night. Six. Sun just came up over the hill. 
shining its beautiful rays over here. Got down to maybe 33 last night. It's about 37 right now. Kept nice and warm and toasty with my new under quilt and my top quilt. Still trying to kind of figure out the right angles here. Woke up for a couple hours in the middle of the night just trying to figure out some things. Not too bad, had an owl. I swear he must have been in the tree above me. About every 30 seconds I just hear a loud Woo! And I don't really like owls. They kind of freak me out how oh, they can turn their head all the way around. It's kind of creepy. Anyway, might get motivated here. Maybe make some hot chocolate. I'm not really that hungry. Last night I ate all three pork chops. Didn't really want to waste them. I was full after about one and a half though. So, anyway, good first test. Love the porch mode here. There wasn't very much wind or anything last night, so. Uh, no rain. Tarp's not even wet this morning, so. Time to get up and get motivated.